But the definition of insanity is insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, expecting shit to change. Fucking hell, this is a Steam Greenlight trailer for Kill the Trolls. The title's in all caps except for the K, which is lowercase. Kill the Trolls. This is a troll, is it? Looks like a... Just looks like a generic soldier. Looks like a generic soldier in an asset flip. In fact, the whole thing looks like uh, another game we've looked at. Not just once, not just twice, but many times before on this channel, on Steam Greenlight, even on an episode of the Jimquisition at one point. Uh, if this looks familiar to you, you may be thinking of the game Shooter Tactics. Yes, our good friend Fatfly is back. The Australian developer with a penchant for homophobic rhetoric and a real, real issue with cause and effect, consequences, and generally just not learning when someone doesn't want to greenlight a really rubbish looking first person shooter. Fatfly seems to labour under the belief that the reason his game has never been greenlit before, despite multiple attempts, is because of trolls, because of the online haters uh, who are out to get him. Uh, and he, he uses many slurs to describe these people, and here we see, I guess, the ultimate manifestation of this person's uh, problem. I guess that's one way of diplomatically putting it. This is the manifestation of Fatfly's problem. Uh, a game in which, well, I say a game in which you kill trolls, it's just the same game he's always made, except this time he's personally visualising the enemies as trolls that he gets to kill because he's fantasizing about shooting people who criticize him. Description! Kill the trolls by voting and commenting against them and help pass this free game on Greenlight. Kill the trolls, multiplayer tactical FPS with player hosting and 13 maps, five game modes and AI bots that live players replace. Photon Network, Cloud7 countries worldwide, kill streak announcer, four class and 10 weapons. How much of it did the actual developer quote unquote make? Basically none of it. So Fatfly's latest tactic is to reposition shooter tactics as some sort of statement against online harassment, which I find incredibly cynical. Not to mention more than a little hypocritical coming from a man as hateful as him. But anyway, let's look at the recent announcement made, help reduce cyberbullying by Fatfly, now calling himself Blind54YO. I'll say I believe he's 54 years old with regards to that name. Anyway, kill the trolls by voting and commenting against them and help pass this free game on Greenlight. Kill the trolls, oh, it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing as the description. He's just, he's just put help reduce cyberbullying as the announcement title. <laughs> Fucking hell. So none of this is actually about cyberbullying, it's not meant to reduce it, it's not meant to stop online harassment in any way. This is a guy who thinks he's being harassed, and probably has been in some situations, which by the way I absolutely am not on board with. Anyone crossing personal lines with this guy and actually sending him personally insulting or threatening messages should really just fuck off, and certainly if you're that kind of person. Uh, I don't want you watching anything I do. Uh, I kind of hate you if you are sending nasty personal attacks to people. Like, don't do it. We don't have to do that. Uh, and actually, with that sentence, I've kind of done more to fight online harassment than this game, and I didn't even do anything. I, I didn't do anything. And that's still more than this. But I must confess that I am starting to think that maybe, maybe we should just like let it go up on Steam just to get him to calm down. Like, and that's probably would that would probably just encourage him to continue to be a dick. But there's just something very pitiable about this now. Make no mistake, this guy's an absolute shit. Okay, I he's said disgusting things, and I am no fan of him.
I mean, hell, he's attacked me before because I've continued to criticise and cover the barely worked upon asset flip that he has now tried to get on Steam a multitude of times. But at this point, it's hard not to feel fucking sorry for him, at least on some sort of instinctive level. Like, maybe it's my maternal instinct kicking in, but I... I just... You just want to put a blanket around the fucking man and tell him to just stop. Just stop. I've got very little doubt that he's watching this now, fat fly. Sir, just stop it. This is not helping. You are unhappy every time you put this up. You are unhappy every time you try and get this green there. It doesn't please you to do this. You don't have any real artistic stake in this game either. Uh, aside from the name, which, let's face it, isn't even very imaginative. There's nothing original here. So... I don't know why you are still continuing emotional investment in something you put no artistic investment into. Are you that desperate to take advantage of Steam's trading card system before they change it? What's the motive here? What are you? We've covered a lot of characters, let's say, over the years on this channel. We've got a sort of rogues gallery, people like Digital Homicide, of course, Cobra Studios, uh, the fellow who works on Dinosaur Hunt and Blood Food and Machine Hunt, fast becoming one. But Fatfly, I think, remains probably the most darkly fascinating. He's the most odious, I think. More so even than the Remind Brothers, who were incompetent and nasty, but not quite as full of hatred as this individual. I mean, this guy brims with it with actual, legitimate hate. And it does make me reticent to cover this guy in his games. Uh, not out of any sense of fear for what he might do. Uh, well, at least not to me. I don't want to speculate or ruminate too much on his state of mind. Uh, I don't think that's ever really a, a, a fair thing to do. But I don't think he's a happy man. And clearly a video like this isn't going to make him any cheerier. Given that he's also a very nasty person. Uh, it's not even sympathy that makes me reticent. I, I'm not sure exactly what it is. There's just, I don't know, there's something deeply, deeply unpleasant about this person. And I think this is another unfortunate side effect of Valve's reluctance to ever step in and ever moderate its own shit because this is a situation that you look at and you think, this should not have gotten this far. This shouldn't be going so far. This person should not have the ability to publish things on Greenlight. And this isn't about, uh, you know, getting the man to shut up. This is about he is acting so horrifically unprofessionally he does not have a place on a professional storefront. Uh, this is some of the stuff I was talking to Valve about when I went to Seattle a while back. Um, there were several individuals I talked about uh, where I, I, I just pointed to them and I said, look, is this the kind of person you would ever do business with? You look at their, their post history, you look at their, their business history, their history of dealing with their audience and dealing with critics, and tell yourself as a company would I would would Valve do business with this studio with this developer with this individual and if the answer is no then you probably shouldn't be putting their games on your storefront or giving them the ability to get voted on and, and put on there obviously with green light going away this is a temporary problem but steam direct itself is going to be pretty hands off as well and one thing that I I'm going to continue to hammer on at Valve about, uh, both publicly in video work and whenever I get chances to speak to them. I will keep hammering this. this. There are certain developers that we've seen on Steam now where their behavior should have been nipped in the bud long before it ever got to the boiling point it got to. And the fact that this is still on the hob, still boiling, still waiting to bubble over into something truly, truly ugly. Well, it's not a good look for Steam, for the person involved, for anyone. It's not good. It's not healthy for Steam or Valve or the, in this case, the developer. And I think it really needs to get to a point where it takes less than suing a hundred users on Steam to get Valve to step in. It shouldn't take that much. And the fact that a developer can let things go that far, 
can take feuds with critics, can take feuds with just individual commenters. So fucking far, so embarrassingly, humiliatingly, cringe-inducingly far, without any oversight, without any advice from Valve, without anybody just sitting them down and saying, Honey, stop! That's why Steam Direct still leads me to believe that the Steam Cleaner is going to have a lot of work left to do. That the nixing of green light, that the changing of trading cards even, will not fix some fundamental problems with the fundamental problems that turn up on Steam.